libgcrypt requires libg oops libgpg error. Let's see, did I get rid of that one? That looks like I think. Oh, that was when I was checking the page, wasn't it? So let's go back here. libgpg error is a requirement optional. Peace, P P T H. Don't know how you pronounce that. Text live. I think that's quite a big package. Or install TL. We'll have a look at them. Yeah, that needs X windowing. X windows. So does this for runtime. So again, I think this libgpg error, sorry, not this one, uh, libgcrypt, I'm going to have to make a note to reinstall this once um, TextLive has been installed, which is needed for, uh, needed due to the X windows not, uh, not existing at the moment. So this is lib. G crypt needs text live which needs basically XORG and a lot of its other um, graphical packages as well like ghost scripts was mentioned now I'm not sure if ghost script can be run without uh, any sort of X windows offhand, but it's certainly one that's best with it. So that's a rebuild too. So already I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packages at least for the looks of it that I need to rebuild for one reason or another or to install for one reason or another. Okay so PTH that's got no dependencies that's fine. If GPG error hasn't either so they these are the tool that we're gonna install now and well if GPG error is a mandatory requirement anyway. Right so PTH Go back and again. So it's not that one there, it's this one PTH. There's a warning there about don't enable the pthread parameter to the config command below, else you'll overwrite the pthread library and interface header installed by the GLIB package, GLIBC package in LFS. So I suppose that's in case, um, of course there's something you can do on every build is just to run the configure command with help and see what other options there are. Uh, you don't have to stick to what they've done in the book, but I will for purposes of this, this video. So let's extract that. Oh, done it again. I forgot the F. So we've got a set, a configure, and a make all in one go. Let's check the other, if there's any other commands to put in. There isn't. It's just explaining the switches, the options that have been enabled for con configure. So you can read, oops, wrong mask. In. You can read that if you wish. It says to run make test, run a quick t test suite. Hope it works. Yep, so do I. So make test. OK, all tests pass, successfully passed, and that's good. So we can now 
as the root user run the commands in to install it uh, and that's all complete